What's up everyone, it's Tim here from Tutorials Hub. Today we're taking a look at JetBrains versus NeoVim. Now, obviously, you know, both of these, well, not really both of these are IDEs, but uh, NeoVim is a modernized open source version of a code editor. So it's completely free, it's open source. While JetBrains is a software company known for creating powerful, you know, integrated development environments or IDEs. Uh, and in JetBrains, you can use a lot of different things. So not just, you know, obviously IDEs, you can use, you know, uh, it has access to Java, Kotlin, you know, PyCharm, WebStorm, PHPStorm, DataGrip, um, and some key points, right, in terms of JetBrains, uh, let's just cover first JetBrains, um, is that, you know, it's feature rich with intelligent code completion, right? It's ready to use out of the box. You just go, you just, uh, you know, uh, log in and you can use it. Uh, it's excellent for larger projects with, where you have to collaborate with uh, team members and then it's also paid, right? It's, it's a paid software. Um, so basically you have all in one tool for coding, especially for, you know, uh, coding within like a team environment, right? Now, when it comes to uh, NeoVim, right? NeoVim is more so like a classic text editor. Uh, it's just that, right? It's um, obviously here you can see some of the features, right? But overall, it is a lightweight, fast, and highly customizable, um, you know, code editor. Now, obviously it's terminal based, so it's minimal out of the box, right? Uh, it's fully customizable with plugins. You have LSP support, auto completion, uh, Git integration, which is really awesome for those of you who wanna, you know, integrate Git with Git. It's ideal for developers who enjoy uh, basically tailoring their development environment and customizing it. Um, it's also great for remote work and, you know, working on the servers as well. So it's basically like a blank canvas, but it's like perfect for coding setup. So again, uh, JetBrains paid one, uh, NeoVim is a free one, right? Now, some of the pros and cons now with JetBrains IDE, um, it's it has a lot of features, right? Out of the box, you have code completion, debugging, version control, testing tools. You have seamless integrations with pretty much any framework and language. Um, smart refactoring and code navigation, which is really awesome. So as you can see here, just some like rich suite of tools. You have like a lot of tools here that you can use. Uh, IDEs for Python, IDEs for Java and Kotlin IDEs. So, so these are like multiple IDEs and this is like just one IDE. And then you have to kind of customize it. Um, so yeah, it's have built in database tools with JetBrains. Um, it's excellent for large complex databases. So if you're working with a team, if you are working maybe with three or four people even, I think JetBrains would be much better because it's deeply integrated. It, it has the AI assistance and it's overall really, really great for um, you know expert developers and developers that want to you know, really run entire, you know, scheme with, with programming and, 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 and everything like that. So that's what JetBrains is for, right? Now, some of the cons uh, I would say is, or downsides is heavier on the system resource. Um, also, I would say, you know, it's paid, right? NeoVim is not paid. Um, so yeah, though there are free versions and student accounts that you can go with, uh, again, it is paid. So if you go here, you can kind of see if I can find the, the pricing, but yeah, the pricing is um, usually per the IDE that you're using pretty much. You can kind of go in and check the pricing here as well. But overall, you know, this is um, this is paid and this is free, right? So NeoVim on the other hand, let's cover that. It's super lightweight, as I said, it's blazing fast. It's really great for one to two developers. If you're collaborating, I don't think it's a really great choice. I think JetBrains is better in terms of that. Now it's fully customizable in terms of NeoVim, so you can add plugins for LSP completion, theming, you write, you have a bunch of themes you can use. Um, model editing boosts productivity once you learn it, right? So once you learn the model editing, you can basically boost productivity and you can customize NeoVim however you want. As you can see here, just like, like a quick preview of a NeoVim in like 100 seconds. It's similar to Z AI editor. If you ever use that, it's a new uh, AI editor. Um, it's also terminal based, so works with any environment. As I said before, open source and free um, overall. And yeah, some some of the cons or downsides of NeoVim, I would say, is a steep learning curve, especially for Vim newcomers, right? 
Um, they call it WIM, Neo WIM, WIM, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a very steep learning curve. Obviously, if you are already a coder, I, I don't think you will have issues with it. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, the JetBrains is much more, uh, you know, easier to learn still and much more uh, deeply integrated with all the different tools. Um, but as you can see, this is how it looks like, right? And also, uh, obviously, one thing uh, that I have to mention is with Neovim, one of the downsides is that you don't have any built-in features. You must add what you need and everything is pretty much manual. So yeah, that's pretty much um, you know what, what I have to say. Um, now, who wins, right? You, you're probably thinking, okay, but who is the best choice for me or which one is the best choice for me? Now, this will completely depend uh, what you want to do. However, I would say choose JetBrains if you want to set it and forget it solution with a powerful features, ready to go, especially for like enterprise level projects or so bigger projects. Um, and choose Neovim if you love like tinkering with one minimal setup, you, you like to explore, you know, a different type of code editors, then I would definitely go with uh, Neovim. So yeah, if you want just a minimal setup tailored to your preferences, uh, you, you know, you value speed and lightweight um, editor, then that's pretty much it. Now, obviously some developers use Neovim for quick edits and JetBrains for fully fledged development. So again, that might say something as well. Um, and uh, yeah, like that's that's basically it for the comparison. Again, paid one, free one, open source one, uh, lightweight. This is more so for like bigger projects and more so for like more serious projects. So um, that's what I would say in terms of these two. Uh, again, comment down below what you think about it. And uh, yeah, I hope I kind of help, um, you know, I help you with the decision. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.